He had to show part of my Beach Boys collection. Well, part of it. I'm just going to say right now I have the 50th anniversary copy, digital copy, on my iPhone. So I'm not going to show you that because it would be stupid. Okay. Now, this is a lot of stuff. I don't think it's all the stuff I have, but it's most of the stuff now. I hope I can get as many views as before, like on my concert video, because, hey, I'm talking about stuff. That's important. Okay, this is their Blu-ray version of the one that's on my phone. Very wonderful and great, great quality. You can't go wrong with the quality of that Blu-ray. Uh, I'm not exaggerating. The Blu-ray of that concert was amazing. And the sound. The only thing I was a little disappointed with I don't remember when I got this. I think it was 2012. It only gave you like a 5.1 audio track. I was thinking maybe they could have put a little better audio in it, considering it's the Beach Boys, but even at that time, I think they could have did better. Okay. Um, we have another one. Beach Boys, Good Time and Live at Kenilworth, 1980. Did not say that right. This is also a really good one because I think... Yeah, the... Um, Dennis Wilson was in this, I believe, and many other people. It was all a good, it was a great concert. Um, it comes with the DVD, actually I should show you all the discs too. That's important. If you want to know what the discs look like, they, they got cheap on it. So yeah, that's what the Blu-ray looks like. They actually didn't get cheap, they put a different color into it and everything. Um, this one I just showed you, that was... This gives you a DVD of the entire concert, plus you get a music CD you can put in your car, which everyone has MP3 players, I mean, iPhones and stuff now, so that doesn't really matter, but hell, that's not a bad idea. Okay, our next one. Now, forgive me if I open some of these and there's nothing in it. I just found a big thing of them in the garage, and I can't believe I just left them there. And I decided that, you know, I'm going to open them up. If there's nothing there, well, that means I lost it. Okay, next we got, I'm um, do it again. This isn't really that long. I think I bought this. I don't know if I put, yeah, it's in here. Oh, this one's in here. I don't remember how I got this one. I didn't get it in Mississauga, that Canada that time. I went to the um, little Al Jardine thing. And now that I mentioned it, I want to yeah show you this. Now this doesn't have much relation to the entire Beach Boys because Al Jardine was the only one from the Beach Boys that was at this. This thing was the best concert I have ever been to in my life. The atmosphere. If only the Beach Boys had a concert. I've never been to another concert where the Beach well, well, obviously it's not the Beach Boys on there, but I've never been to a concert with the Beach Boys when everyone got on the floor. It was for charity, and everyone was dancing, and they were having a good time hitting beach balls at each other. Now, usually they do that at regular concerts sometimes. I was amazed, amazed at what they did at that thing. I, I remember someone um, from one of my older YouTube accounts, the Retro Rockers, had contacted me to ask for my permission to use one of their band videos. It's like, it's your, you're in the video, you can use it. He was a nice guy, though. You don't catch many people are going to do that nowadays. So, um, that's best. I have to say that's the best concert I've ever been to. And not even all the Beach Boys were there. Um, it's not nothing against the group or anything. It's just it, there was an atmosphere of a lot of fun with people jumping around and having a good time. You won't catch... You'll catch that at a regular Beach Boys concert, but you won't see everybody dancing or anything because it'll be confined to the seats. Okay. Here's another one. And now another, another Al Jardine band kind of thing. Oh, I, sh I showed you the, um, the disc. I hate to take out discs because they can get damaged, but see? Uh, I showed you that. That's what the disc looks like. Doesn't really matter like anybody cares, but I just like to talk about it. This has a lot of stuff you could talk about inside, I, which I wouldn't have time to even go over it. But there's 13 tracks on it. And the Beach Boys do it again. That's kind of a movie, so I don't know how many tracks are on that. Doesn't say it on the other one. In the concert video, I'm a little... Th you know why I'm disappointed in their concert video? is because they didn't put enough... 
enough video into it. There was only about an hour of music footage. They and, and when they went on their music tour, you see saw my music video for the Beach Boys. It's over two hours long. There should have been at least two hours worth of music on there. Um. And to promote that as little, it's a BS. That's why people have to take third-party videos because they don't, they can't get anything else. Here's one I'm not gonna open, but it's that's why God made the radio album that they. I, think, I don't know if they made another one after this. I don't think they did. Produced by Brian Wilson, executive producer Mike Love. You know how it is. <laughs> um, I had another one of these and I didn't take care of it. Shame on me. I never opened it. Maybe I will. But I'm not going to treat it like crap ever again because I know how important the Beach Boys are. Okay, this is my third copy of the Beach Boys. Actually, no, it's not. This is the third copy of my... Oh, well, yeah, it is. Number three. Third copy of the Beach Boys Live in Closet. I've been looking for this for months. If, if not over a year. And the reason why is because I go to certain people's houses. Let me look at this other stuff for a second. And I have to... um. I have to I have no option but use DVD. They don't have a Blu-ray player. So this was perfect at the DVD version of the exact same thing. And it was the disc exactly the same as a Blu-ray. Oh wait a second. That there has a background and everything in it. Just like when I'm doing an unboxing. Um that I, I can't be wrong seeing the Yeah, the Blu-ray has it. I'm going to see if they have, have the different pictures. No, they're exactly the same thing. The pictures um, stretch out a little, so you might not see a little of the stuff, but yeah, that, that's pretty good. Okay, so um, so that's that. Those are That's the most famous stuff. I have three copies of, and now another one, a fourth copy of the anniversary tour. Except this one's a lot different. This is what should be on that live concert. The reason why I say that is, is because this has 21 tracks on the first disc. And on the second one it has 20. That's 41 tracks. Let me get that right again. Yeah, that's 41 tracks. There's no reason why this should not be on the Beach Boys 50th live in concert. That would, but then again, if you did that, that would probably make this entire disc irrelevant. Let's look at the discs in here now. Oh, um, they got a blue thing. They got a little. That's nothing special. I, I guess it's nice. Another one. But I think sometimes it's better to, you know, in all with all respect, and most people I think would agree with me. But um. The Beach Boys are, are way better to just listen to than to just, just to pick up a, a video or something on YouTube. I mean, YouTube's nice for them, but I'd rather just listen to them. And really, I gotta get a record player, and I gotta find an original record of them and listen to it like it was like the 60s. That's how I, how I have to do it. Alright, this is one of the other ones Brian Wilson made was... Wait, did I just do this? No. Okay, Smile. I think this is something just with Brian Wilson. I'm not a professional, so um, I just I don't know why they made this box with it. Here, see, look at that. Very creative with that disc, all rainbow colored. Put that back in there. I think there's another disc. Yep. <laughs> I haven't looked at this stuff in so long. I don't remember. Um, yeah, so this, uh, there might be a third disc. He didn't get, sweat, whatever the price was on this, it wasn't a screw up, because you're getting at least two discs out of it. Yeah, no, there's two discs. All right, hey, in the disc CD1, there's 27 tracks. In CD2, there's 13, so that's definitely not a ripoff. That's actually really nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. Actually, said, I can't believe I don't remember any of this shit. If I have my own little CD collection, believe it or not, even though I mainly collect movies and stuff, I do have a music collection. Okay, let's go over the next item. Now, this really isn't a, a movie. This is a movie. It's like a double feature of Brian Wilson, the Beach Boys, American Band. It's like a disc. 
And um, this is really just a story. I, I tried to play that at a party we had on the 4th of July a long time ago, but people, you know, all they want is music, music, music. God forbid they listen to a story or something. But this is a really nice, this is really nice. Um, there's two different years. I think there was, I can't read it. One of them is 95 and 85. I can't, I can't believe this thing was made in 85. No, 2002. So, yeah. Okay. Here we got another one that's unopened. It's Christmas songs from the Beach Boys. Another thing I didn't understand about them quite well is they were out for such a long time, and they still are, over, over 50 years. Obviously, there's different people in the band. And there's only, they never really made that many Christmas things. Like this Christmas song disc had, you can't even see, it's all reflected. But not nine tracks. And it was five bucks though at, it doesn't tell me where it was. That's still a pretty good deal though for five bucks. And it's cracked inside. Some people, you know, with CDs it's very difficult. One drop and they all crack up. So you gotta watch out. All right. Surf City All Stars. We're looking at an Al Jardim disc, I think, again. Yeah. I'm trying to see if there's, um, doesn't tell you exactly how many discs are on it. This is what the disc looks like. That's actually a very, very creative CD disc. I don't even know why I keep calling it. This is, um, all very interesting stuff. Um, ooh, I almost showed you a baseball game. <laughs> okay, the Beach Boys, 50th anniversary. I didn't even open this one yet. The only thing I'm not too fond about is there's got to be some kind of, I don't know, like booklet inside, but there's not much to go with this. There's only 11 tracks. So, um, I guess you should, shouldn't complain about it. I'm just saying. Beach Boys will always have a special place with me there. My one video with high amounts of success on YouTube. Hitting about 10,000, 12,000 views on, or almost 13,000 now. I have to tell you, that's one hell of a, an accomplishment. But at least it was for music and not one of my dumb videos. Okay, bye-bye.